This is part 7 of an introduction to the Arduino based upon the Eligu Most Complete Starter Kit and above you can see a playlist of the previous videos. This video is concentrating upon the temperature and humidity sensor. Just to start, a look at a previous project that I've done using a similar sensor. I've developed an Internet of Things example whereby the temperature and humidity values are being sent to, in this case, the Adafruit I.O. server. And then remotely from an app on the smartphone, you can get those results in real time. In addition, I've added a small logical switch where I can activate an LED on the remote unit where the sensor is. This is just an example. In reality, perhaps you would use that function to switch on an air conditioning unit, yeah, for example, if the temperature was getting too hot. Now let's move over and take a look at the Eligu example. Looking now at the simple Eligu example, the connection is very simple. There are just the three connections needed, and this will give us an output of the temperature and humidity. In the documentation, we have some examples of typical usage in air conditioning systems, dehumidifiers, automotive applications, weather stations, and basically anywhere where you need to have those measurements. It gives us all the specification of the device as well. There are only the three connections, the plus 5 volts ground and the signal data output, which is connected to D2 on the Arduino, and very simply it will look like that. Looking now at the Arduino sketch itself, don't forget to use the zip file provided to include the DHT non-blocking libraries. It then defines the sensor type and the sensor pin as we saw on pin 2. The setup is very simple, just starting the serial port at 9600 board, followed by setting up the measurement environment and assigning variables for the temperature and humidity, and it will measure every four seconds. The main program loop is equally straightforward, just getting those values from the sensor and printing them as temperature and humidity. And that is it. Very, very simple indeed. Looking now at the built circuit with the sensor here, all we need to do is go to the tools and activate the serial monitor, which is at 9600 board. And now we can see the incoming values every four seconds. For example, if I were to breathe on the sensor, we can immediately see the increase in the humidity going up to 95% there. And a small increase in temperature. So in essence, this is exactly what I was showing in the Internet of things example, uh, very simple to do, and it just shows what can be achieved. Having gone through the tutorials on the simple examples, you can simply build on that, and there is a link on GitHub to the code that I used for the other sensor. I'd like now to introduce you to another feature in the Arduino IDE, which is the serial plotter. We saw before that we can use the serial monitor to look at the data values, but sometimes it's more interesting to actually plot the values. If we go to the tools and serial plotter, in the plotter window we can see two traces. The lower trace, the blue trace, is the temperature, and the upper trace here in red is the humidity. So if now again I breathe onto the sensor, we see at once that the humidity rises by a large amount whilst the temperature just increases briefly. And now as time goes on the humidity returns back to, to normal. Now with the values back to their originals, if I just hold the sensor now Once again, we can see that the humidity rises sharply. 
and this time we can see the temperature ramping up as well as I hold the sensor. We can see now that both values are, are leveling off. There were a couple of changes that were needed to be done to the sketch to make this happen. Firstly, I've commented out the actual T for temperature and the degrees Celsius as they're not required. All that I'm doing is serial printing the temperature value as before, and that is the first plotted value. Then I've included a line which simply serial prints a comma, which the plotter interprets as a separator between the two values. I've added a serial print line which sends the print function followed by a line feed and that becomes the second plotted value. So in the graph they're indicated by the different colours and you can have m many more items. You just continue the list down until you get to the last one which you end with the print line. 